What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, Smith & Wesson Subcompact 2.0, 12 plus 1 setup with the base plate on it. This one does have a manual safety, it was cheaper, but it doesn't affect it while shooting if you just don't use it. 3 dot metal sights, really aggressive texturing, but it's almost perfect. They give you a lot right out of the box, they give you a bunch of different uh, grip, uh, magazine sleeves. As you can see, you can put them on the larger magazines for the larger handguns. On top of that, a bunch of different palm swell back straps, and they actually feel really nice. The finish, Smith & Wesson quality. Yes, it shows wear, but it'll never rust, never have any issues. Small forward serrations, nice rear serrations. Overall, a pretty comfortable handgun in the hand, but as you can see, it is pretty wide as well. But once again, just like the other subcompacts, they're fat, but they shoot nice. They're small, but you can make them bigger. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing. Very smooth shooting handgun. Very smooth. It feels like you're shooting a 380. It honestly does. Then you have stuff like this that makes it even better. Now I can make it a bigger handgun. I can make this my home defense, you know, whatever the case may be. So one handgun can cover a lot when the smaller. Hold on, we got to wait for this. Okay, back. I sort of got a little crazy at the end, but let's go check it out. Love this handgun. As you can see, I was shooting a little high left. All this works for self-defense, shooting a little fast. The handgun handles recoil. That is its best. The best part about this handgun is the recoil and capacity. I'd say the worst part about the handgun isn't necessarily the trigger, but it's just not the flat face triggers that they offer now. Uh, it's still a really good trigger. Feels good on the, on the finger. Um, as you can see, that's probably about four inch, four inch grouping but I was mag dumping. Majority of my shots are right here, as you can see. Um, great quality subcompact handgun, super underrated, and I do believe they make a version now with that flat face trigger. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.